Hi Bother Brigade, here are what's bothering me today. I know I also mentioned in yesterday's video that people are continuing to ignore the pandemic and how it's not over, but in the threat of continuing while watching people ignore reality, there's a byproduct of the pandemic and people going quote back to normal that hasn't really been getting too much coverage and it's really sad and unfortunate to see. And that's about the skyrocketing rate of pets being returned to animal shelters. And unfortunately, this isn't exactly a new phenomenon. This has been going on since at least 2021. There were already reports then by I think like the Kingston SPCA or something like that. Either way, a bunch of links will be in the description down below. But it's been at least about a year now. And unfortunately, this year in 2022, here in Canada, we have seen an increase and the number of pets surrender to shelters. And this is for a wide range of reasons, and we're gonna get into some of those. So a lot of people, somewhat understandably, thought, okay, well, you know what, we're home now a lot of the time, so let's get, you know, a, a, a pet so that we won't be so alone, we can go for walks, and we're staying home all the time anyway, so it's fine. And that was good for a while, but now with people being forced to go back to the office, because apparently, Work from home isn't good for the big business class, apparently. But anyway, people had to start going back to the office or to their places of employment. And this meant that pets had to be left at home, which for most people who have owned a dog is really not doable unless you have another pet that can keep the dog company, basically. And unfortunately, a lot of people have found that, oh, no, you know what? Uh, we, we got them as a puppy. They were very cute, but we just let the puppy run rampant and now it's poorly trained and We just don't know what to do with the poor guy or girl. So we have to surrender it now That's a more, you know callous and being presumptive argument Various other reasons are to blame for why people have been surrendering pets crucially because of the pandemic scammers took advantage there's some really horrifying and heartbreaking stories out there of scammers basically abusing dogs to try and force them in crates to keep them a certain size so that they could pretend to sell it as a pure breed to some desperate wannabe owner like somewhere else in the province. It's honestly been a nightmare scenario behind the scenes. The result of this, however, was a booming industry because, oh, hey, we, you mean we can get thousands of dollars for some, like, random supposed designer dog? This is great. We'll just, you know, breed with so-and-so's dog in the backyard, and then we'll sell it to this person online who doesn't know any better for thousands of dollars. And that's kind of what's happened. And so people are finding that the dogs that they got are not as advertised. And so for that reason, they are surrendering them. Also as well... Rather, unfortunately, it has to do with cost, not just rising cost of food and everything, right? Because, yeah, we're dealing with inflation. And unfortunately, that means also rising costs for your pet food, basically. But also, crucially, there's a shortage of veterinarians out there. And that also means that there's a lack of access to care. And because of irresponsible breeding practices and people not doing research, Beyond the reasons we've already discussed, there's also a very unfortunate trend of people surrendering their pets because they simply can't afford to pay their vet bills because these dogs or cats or whatever have health problems that were not disclosed to them when they bought the animal and they also didn't do their due diligence. There's a lot of aspects to this, but unfortunately, these are kind of the leading causes and reasons for why pets, especially dogs, are being surrendered to shelters. And it's so fundamentally heartbreaking because the animals did nothing wrong. Whether the animals were forced to breed, that's not their fault. That's the fault of the people trying to make a quick buck out of poor, desperate, lonely people online. The pets are not to blame for people who suddenly don't like the fact that, oh, you know what? I thought I was getting an Australian cattle dog, but it's actually, a, I don't know, pit bull terrier mix or something. Like, it's just, it's, it's so disheartening to see people suddenly surrender pets because they were not as advertised. It's so sad to see pets mistreated and abused and not trained properly and bought as a spur of the moment or a heat of the moment decision. And now they have to go to a shelter and suffer because of human actions and desire. It is so fundamentally unfair to these creatures. And now there's more of them in a shelter than ever before. And that's what's bothering me today.